Hello SDN community and welcome to the second webinar in a three-part series on transition to school. In the first webinar we began exploring transition to school by unpacking what the skills required for school are as well as addressing some common myths about school readiness. In this webinar we will be taking a closer look at the necessary school readiness skills as well as providing examples of some behaviours that would indicate a child's development or mastery in these areas. Again, it is important to reiterate that when talking about school readiness, and indeed anything to do with children's development, one must remember that each child is unique and will develop at a pace that is right for them. The first of the school readiness skills to unpack further is resilience. In regards to emotional resilience, a child is demonstrating school readiness when they are able to identify and label their own emotions most of the time. This includes emotions such as happiness, sadness, frustration, uncertainty, as well as feelings of pride. A child who is school ready will also usually be able to identify and label others' emotions as well. Emotional resilience will then be demonstrated by the child through reacting accordingly to these emotions in ways such as showing empathy, getting a teacher for help, or sharing in joy. Another indicator that a child is ready for school is their communication skills. The school ready child will be equipped with the communication skills needed to effectively express their needs and wants and be clearly understood by others. This enables them to ask for help, express their ideas and opinions, as well as demonstrate their knowledge or understanding of a task. Adequate communication skills between a student and teacher are critical, as they support the teacher to accurately assess and plan for each individual child's learning and development in line with their current level. To commence school, a child's social skills and understanding of established social constructs underpin their ability to form and maintain friendships, engage in games and contribute as an active member to the school community. This readiness will be demonstrated through actions such as asking to join others' games or inviting peers to contribute to their games or activities. They will also understand and engage in turn-taking, observe others' personal space, and understand appropriate touch, including using gentle hands with their friends. The concept of fair and just interactions will be evident in their play with others too. Examples of this would be offering resources to others, sharing, and reporting to a teacher if something is not fair or equitable. Children with well-developed social skills for this age group will even mediate or seek fair and equitable solutions for their peers when they identify situations that are not inclusive to all or unjust. Self-help skills play an important role in a child being able to confidently engage in the more practical mechanisms of a primary school day. A child who is ready for school will demonstrate effective self-help skills through tasks such as zipping and unzipping jumpers and jackets, putting on and removing their shoes, managing their own belongings, unwrapping their lunch items, toileting themselves and managing their own hand hygiene. In the modern job market, Employers are often prioritising the need for candidates to possess the relevant soft skills such as communication and time management over technical hard skills. This concept similarly applies to success in the school setting. Children who are actively developing effective thinking skills such as critical thinking, problem solving and trial and error whilst demonstrating positive learning dispositions such as persistence and engaging in learning for deeper understanding will thrive over those who do not possess these skills but perhaps can identify numbers and letters. Essentially, school readiness is about being ready to learn in the primary school setting, not already knowing what will be taught. Practical ways SDN supports children and their whole village to be ready for transitioning to school will be explored in our third and final webinar.
So stay tuned. <laughs>